Well, um, so, okay. Well, what, what, what I tried to get, I tried to get Julia in here. She's, I don't know what the deal is. Um, Chris Ortiz. <laughs> That's usually how the stories start. Um, Chris Ortiz the other day uh, gets a hold of me on Facebook, of course. And he goes, I I've got this chick in Salina. And she wants to get into the world of porn. And she wants me to help her shoot it. And then she wants me to be in the movies. And so he's all excited. And I said, well, before she starts this, we kind of need to have a meeting with her because... If you you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> it's a, you're gonna have to have appearance releases. You're gonna have to. She's gonna have to have a name. Gonna have to have a website. All these things. And so he's like, well, well, me and this guy who supposedly is his security, which I think is just horseshit. I think the guy just wanted to go meet a porn star or whatever. So we were going to do this thing in uh, up in Salina, and we were going to go meet with this chick. Well, uh, she flaked on us and disappeared, and he uh, supposedly we were going to meet with her at 6, then at 6.30, then at 7, then at 7.30, then at 8. And then finally the next day at 10 a.m., he sends me a message. He goes, I think this chick's a flake. Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> she doesn't meet with us. So I got a hold of uh, Seth Stevens uh, in in Wichita with with the that does digital marketing, and he always likes to hear Chris Ortiz stories. So uh, I, I tell him, and uh, I said, you know, this reminds me of the Hood Rat. Uh, the Hood Rat wanted to get into the world of porno. She wanted to be a porn star. And I had everything set up for. Her. I had a, uh, I had an account on Streammate set up. I had, we were gonna copyright her a name. She was gonna be ready to go. They were gonna get her all sorts of traffic. She was gonna make all sorts of cash. And she blew that off and went to a party, and banged two dudes in some room somewhere. Some other guy filmed it, and then she comes out of this room and she goes, "Look, I made a porno." And I'm like, okay, so you didn't make any money. Uh, this is probably not going to get uploaded. There's no residuals. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so all these people who just don't <laughs> seem to understand any of this stuff. It's just so damn entertaining. I just d don't understand these people. Because, like, at, at least <laughs> at, at least with, uh, you know, at, at least with, with Jay, she's got this perv demographic, and they'll send her all sorts of nasty things, and she sends them back messages that goes, "Here's my PayPal. Send me twenty bucks." And <laughs> at least, at least she knows. Hey, I need to make money off these pervs. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> that one guy wanted me to send uh, pictures of my armpit. I'm the like, the no. armpit guy. <laughs> You, you I, want, different there. I, one free sample and he's like i lost my free sample i want another one i said no you pay me and then i'll five bucks to my get another one more. brother yes i uh i don't know we might have julia she I she might so. she might have joined us off of our armpit story there oh, <laughs> julia can you hear us can you see us there she uh, is. Yeah, I can. Okay, Hi. perfect. Hey, how are you? We uh, we 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 were sitting here. Uh, <laughs> we were sitting here talking about the fact that. Uh, it's because there's a child in the background. The child is Jay. No. Uh, we... <laughs> Behind the nice lady there, she has a cute little adorable little girl there. So uh, so Julia, uh, you can do Skype, which is awesome because uh, we've had two two uh -huh. other we've had two other authors today that uh, they didn't know what Skype was, they didn't know how to connect to Skype, so I had to call them on the phone. So <laughs> thank you for being able to embrace technology. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. So fill me and John and Jay in here on uh, on your books and uh, everything that you're doing. Hey. There we go. Now he's back. There we are. 
And my microphone. Oh, we're not hearing you, Jiggy. I know. My 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 there you go. Now you're I've back. got these issues with this. Supposedly Windows Windows ten for the last week has decided, you know, in the middle of the interviews, I'm just gonna switch the microphones. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> so uh so Julia, educate us on uh on your background and everything that you're involved in here and, and what makes you a, a great author. I'm sorry. I actually just took the call wondering what's going on. Hi, <laughs> thank you. All right. So I didn't know what was going on and I just took the call. So is this like a group interview? This what's is this on? this is this is the interview. We were supposed to do an interview with you today. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay. And uh, so, so I'm here with my book and um, I have my book um uh <laughs> It's called Amala, A Life on Lockdown, and we had a different time. That's why I'm kind of a little out of place, but um, um, so basically the book is available on Amazon, and um, hope you can get a copy of uh, yourself, like, you know, for yourself. Uh, it's about women and being abused. Um, just, um, it's a great book. So, yeah, please uh, do uh, take a look, um, you know. Check it so out. so so tell us about the book. Why, why did you decide to write this book? Tell us all about it. Um, tell you about the book. Uh, pretty, pretty much, it's about a story about a woman being abused and how she finds an alternative to get out of the uh, the abuse kind of thing. That's about it. A, a healthy um, outlet, or I mean, a lot of women will turn towards like. Um, Burning themselves or killing themselves. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. You know what? Actually, I have something else important going on. So I I really have to majorly cut this call for now. Okay. So I'll get back later because you said there was a 430 interview. Um, it was really nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you're going to get jiggy. Okay, I, I don't know. It's a weird deal. We uh we had her set up 